Howdy folks. This short video is about feelings. Feelings. It's something that <coughs> this word's used a lot. And if you actually sit down and uh, think about it, it's actually quite a tricky concept. Um, so I thought I'd just spend uh, literally just a couple of minutes talking about feelings. And it's opposed to thoughts or what I would call somatic response, so body, body sensation. I think sometimes it's useful to have a link between what I'm thinking, so the stuff going on in my synapses, my emotion, which I really can't describe very well in words, because as soon as I start to describe my emotion, I start thinking about my emotions, and so then I'm describing my thoughts about my feelings. Um, and then physical sensations, so I might have a tightness in my chest, I might start sweating, I might have an upset tummy, a headache. Yeah. So there's lots of words that we have for feelings, can you see that? I sometimes use the wheel of emotion, which is quite a useful way of getting past just good or bad or angry, sad, happy, those sort of emotions. The nuance, so anger might be, uh, for example, mad, hateful, threatened, aggressive, frustrated, distant, critical. Uh, distant might be withdrawn or suspicious. Aggressive might be provoked or hostile. I'll pop a a version of this up with this video, so it gives us some useful words for our emotional vocabulary. Um, I also quite like to make up words to describe uh, my emotions um, that sort of jolt me out of thinking and into being feeling. Uh, quite often with clients and with myself, poetry or music or just gazing at a drop of dew on a flower does a lot more for me in terms of getting in touch with my emotion than thinking what my emotion is. So the reason I'm making a big thing of this is that if we do acknowledge that there's a difference between our thoughts, our emotions, and how we are in our bodies, then focusing in on our emotions and how they interact with the other two, a top tip I would give you is please don't think of emotions as one of two things because they're not either. Emotions are not permanent. They are, if anything, entirely fleeting, like waves. They fill me up and I get emptied. They come and go. I've probably had 12 or 100 in the course of this video. Emotions constantly fluctuating. It's when we say things like, oh, I'm angry, what I'm doing there you know, I'm always angry. What I'm doing there is I'm talking about my thoughts about my emotion. My thinking is, in general, a lot of my emotion has been anger. But it's not actually feeling angry. Yeah? So focusing in, in a mindful way, on what I'm feeling in the here and now is a useful thing to do. And number two, don't think of emotions as being either good or bad, because as soon as we start to do that, we want to go towards what we think is good and away from what we think is bad. Uh, commonly in families, it would be anger is not good, you know, so I want to try and push that down and not acknowledge it. In some families, love, expressing love is not good, so I want to push that down. So top, two top tips in terms of emotions, as well as distinguishing between thoughts, emotions, and being in my body. The two top tips are, don't try not to label them as being good or bad, because that influences our ability to feel them. And secondly, please acknowledge that they are fleeting and temporary. Our emotions are always changing. Thank you.